New spin on an old scam, and the Federal Trade Commission says it's hit more than 76,000 people nationwide. Consumer reporter Alana Otler spoke to a victim who lives right here in North Texas. Alana, what happened? Here's how it goes, guys. The con artist poses as the Social Security Administration, claims your number is suspended, then takes whatever information you'll give up. Ronald Lamer will be the first to tell you he messed up. I got my heart racing, and I was dumb enough to get him my my you know, number. This week, Lamer received a call from someone who claimed he worked for the Social Security Administration. He even provided a badge number. The caller said Lamer's Social Security number was at risk of getting suspended. He began to say that uh, there has been a warrant for your arrest. I needed your Social Security number. Panicking, Lamer read off the digits. And when he realized the call was a hoax, the scammer instantly hung up. It really makes you feel you know, terrible. I mean, like you're worthless. Lamer is far from alone. 76,000 people have complained to the Federal Trade Commission about the ruse, which is already eclipsing the old IRS call. Maybe it sounds familiar. According to Section 101, there was a miscalculation over your tax filing. The FTC says that scam took in $17 million in its peak year. This Social Security call scam is already up to $19 million for the year ending March 31st. It's too recognizable to pretend to be the IRS anymore. They know that they can't get away with that nearly as easily, and so they've come up with a new angle. For now, Lamer says no one has stolen his identity or his money, but he knows someone, somewhere, still has his number. Oh, he's out there trying to, you know, use, use this in a, a criminal way. Of course, you should never, ever give away your social security number over the phone. But now the FTC is saying don't trust your caller ID either. Scam artists can spoof a number to make it look like they're calling from the government agency. But also, guys, here's another tip. If somebody says that your number has been suspended mm -hmm. or it's been disabled, that's not true. It's a scam. The Social Security Administration is never going to do that. That's a red flag. Absolutely. Wish it would just go away. <laughs> I know. Yes. Just, just don't pick up the phone. Yeah. That's all my advice. Alana, thank, thank you, you very Alana. much. Well, if you need justice.